there is a concern about microplastics, PFAS, and other forever chemicals building up on the soil and causing harm, whether it be harming the microbial life in the soil or some of that stuff actually getting uptaken by the plant. Is there any truth to that or any concern in that area at all? Yes. Short answer. If you would ask me 10 years ago, I would have said, eh, those microplastics are too big to get through root membrane. Because we study what thing, but root membranes are, they're very selective. And microplastics is, even if they're nanoplastics, that's a, the molecule is just too big to get through membranes. Um, so they shouldn't get taken up by plants and they should not get in the food chain. But now there's some really good studies with electron microscope pictures. We're finding these microplastics in the top of the plant. Not necessarily in the fruit, but at least in the leaves of the plant. And I'm thinking, how did they get in there? They're too big. They're, this shouldn't be happening. But other people have convinced me that they're getting in there. And so that forces us to develop new hypotheses for what's going on with roots. And now we start to think about imperfect root architecture that has leaks in it. Think of the roots as like a giant vacuum cleaner for water. They're pulling water into the top all the time, and they've filtered that water. So they don't, they, plants don't uptake lead, for example. Even if that's in the soil, it hardly ever gets into the plants. Um, so microplastics is the same way. No plant wants microplastics. They would filter them out. So we now we think they must be getting in through cracks and imperfections in the root system. Um, so. They could be getting in the food chain. Um, and, and there's a lot of microplastics in the world. There's no doubt about that. They break down to small particles. It's, an, it's a hot topic right now. Could they, could they be getting in the, to what extent can they be getting in the food chain? Um, and um, microbiologically, microbes can use them for energy. I mean, they break them down to ever more smaller plastics. Um, I don't know that they're going to inhibit microbiology um, because the microbes are what's the cause of making them become small in the first place. Um, but they certainly are getting prevalent in the environment. And, and that alone is a big cause for concern. We've never had this on the planet Earth. Microplastics all over the place. Um, they could get on plants. Let's take an example of a carrot. Now the microplastics might not be in the carrot, but they could be on the outside of the carrot, and they probably are. And now you go buy that carrot and it's inadequately washed, you could be eating microplastics. That's all the more reason to make sure you wash fruits and vegetables to get stuff off the surfaces so you're not eating it. So even if it doesn't get in plants, it could be on plants. Um, and it's an active area of research. It's not something we study in my lab, but I work with colleagues that do study it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Scary. Yeah, I, I will stay tuned because I know that is a big concern for a lot of folks, and it's uh, a little eye-opening hearing some of that information. So yeah, I'll definitely be staying tuned. I don't think we should suddenly panic, um, <laughs> you know, that we're all going to die. Right, right. But it's, that's the job of science, to look way into the future and say, we got to make some changes now because if we don't change course, we're going to have a problem. This clip is brought to you by VivoSun. Use discount code MrGrow15 to save on any of their gardening products. Go to the full episode by clicking the outro card here or click the link in the description section below. Catch you in the next video.